Hello guys, my name is Gautam and you are watching the part 3 in the tutorial series of making a real time chat application using Node.js, uh, Socket.io and Express.js. So in this tutorial we will be making our server file that is index.js. This will be the starting point of our project. So basically in the last tutorial we have set up our dependencies, various dependencies we have downloaded using the command line tool of Node.js. So we have downloaded Express, Socket.io and uh, Nodeman. So this is a Dave dependency. So it is a special tool that is uh, helps us in order to execute our Node.js programs. So if we update our Node.js program, so it will automatically restart the server. We need not require to restart the server again and again. So that was the speciality of this tool. So in this tutorial, uh, let me create the index.js file. So, but before that, let me walk you through of the various files that there that will be there in the project. So, first of all, index.js file will be there, which we will be constructed in this tutorial. So, this will be the basic server. Ja this will be the JavaScript file of the server. Uh, so, it in this file sockets will be there in order to listen for the request that will be coming from the client side. Basically, in order to listen from the uh, client side, the various messages that will be coming from the client side. And the second file that will be there is the static, static file of HTML that is index.html. So this will be the actual file that will be seen by the visitors that actually visit our website. So basically it will reside in the public directory and uh, this file will be called by this server file that is index.js. So basically. Uh, for example, when I write the address of my application into my browser and click enter, then this uh, server file will run and it will call this index.html file which will be residing in the public directory. So it will be the actual file that will be seen by the vis visitors. And the second file which will be there is the style sheet. So it is not mandat mandatory that you create the style sheet. So it will be used to style our uh, application. So the fourth file will be the actual JavaScript file which will be running on the client side. So it will be basically used for sending messages to the server and here also sockets will be present. Sockets will be present at the client or the server side. It will be used to build the real time functionality in our application. So these four files will be there. So first of all just create the index.js file. So click on new and save as index so let me move on to my location Gotham and chat so let me name index.js so first of all I will be including my express.js and socket.io which we have which we have downloaded in the last tutorial so just make two variables first of all var express and require express so require is a directory directive there in the node.js which is used to extract the dependencies that we have downloaded it will extract the express dependency and include it into my file so similarly var socket and require socket io similarly it will extract the socket io dependency and after that i will declare another variable of app which will be holding the express instance of my application so this will be holding my whole app and after that I can be creating my server for my application and I simply write app and I'm using this method of listen so it will listen at a particular port number so let's suppose uh, 8000 I choose you can choose any value any random port 8000 and it again contains a callback function it will be called again and again when the call has been made to the server by the client so let me put a console.log message that is the server is listening on the port 8000 so basically you can write anything of you want but I am writing the server is listening on the port 8000 so that complete my file so you have written your first basic program of node.js so in order to ex execute this program so just click on node.js command prompt and first of all I need to go to the to my directory so cd cd stands for change directory and chat 
सो चैट डायरेक्टरी होल्ड्स माय फाइल सो नोडमैन एन ओ डी ई एम ओ एन एंड फॉलोड बाय द नेम ऑफ माय फाइल इंडेक्स डॉट जे एस इज नॉट नेसेसरी यू डोंट हैव टू पुट इट सो जस्ट पुट द फाइल ऑफ द नेम ऑफ द फाइल एंड क्लिक एंटर so as you can see here it has started my file and it is saying to me that the server is listening on the port 8000 so in order to execute it on the browser so just write localhost and this 8000 and click enter so as you can see here it is showing to me that it cannot get slash so this means that the server don't know which file to show to me that is it is it is in dilemma that is which file in order to show to the client because we haven't created any file so we will be creating our file index.html it will reside in the public directory in the next tutorial so this will be the actual file which will be seen by the visitors and we will be redirecting the server to this index.html file So that concludes our tutorial right now. So if you like this tutorial please like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will be seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.